All right, back in the saddle. So here we're going through another, yet another cutting. And again, here you can see all the debris. There's a tie plate there. There's pieces of tie. There's a piece of hose. There's a base of a telegraph pole. Yeah, there's more tie plates here. A little bit of a wind is kicking up there as you can see a piece of an insulator so again just lots of uh lots of remnants and lots of debris on this section here this is a little chilly i have to pull down my sleeves okay I'll zip your head a little bit here So here you can see there's another, I don't know if you can see anything. It's a piece of a telegraph pole. The dog's going to look for something. All right. So hold up here for a second. So yet another culvert. We can read the marker very clearly. So 100.80. So again, that's the mileage on the Kinghorn. So for the original lines, that would be 58, sorry, 51 point, 51 point one. Sorry, checking my math here. All right, so what we're going to do here is, uh, this is a very interesting stop. You're gonna see probably one of the rarest sites on this railway line. So we've made our way down just below the grade. You can see it, it's just up here. We're like, not even 10 feet down. So what we have is we have something extremely rare. You don't see these. Um, I don't know if this is original construction, but certainly it's old. So what we have is a wooden box culvert. Uh, again, these are rare because they typically would have been replaced. Um, and you can see why that basically they just, they it's wood right so it just breaks down it deteriorates it rots and so you can see for the most part it's still kind of holding its shape uh you can see that a lot of the 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 timbers and stuff are all rotten i'm doing my best here contorting to try to keep the the branches away and stuff so we can see um what's going on a little bit better so we're going to hop over to the north side and see what we can see there so we're over here on the north side uh and it's not looking pretty good. Uh, this is actually what sort of tipped me off as I was riding. I kind of saw, I knew there was a wooden box culvert around here somewhere. Actually, I was, thought it was further to the, uh, further to the west, but then I saw this ditch here um, and I decided to, uh, to have a look. You can see the opening here uh, is just completely gone. And maybe one of the reasons why it was sort of let go is that it, it is springtime. There should be a lot of water. There is kind of a swale here, but you can see there's no, water whatsoever going through here so um i'm guessing that they they didn't even bother kind of upkeeping this one um or it just has really really deteriorated in the last um bunch of years uh i don't even know if you can see some sort of opening here it's just a complete disaster okay so we'll uh jump back up on the grade and uh continue working our way to the west all right, I'm back in the saddle again. We had another cutting here. I need to stop and make sure I didn't miss anything here. Okay, I'm gonna zip you ahead a little bit here. So here you can see more debris. You can see there's a, an insulator. So Dominion 42 right there and you can see the tie plate there and the tie plate there 
here you can see a little bit of snow so there's still little vestiges of snow here and there especially in the shaded areas wow it's really sunny now so next point of interest right here so what we have is something very very rare or sorry very rare but you sort of see them spotty uh, we saw the 100 mile post marker and so this is the mile post 101 so again that is the mileage on the kinghorn so for the original lines that would be 51.3 all right well, let's continue our journey here So we have yet another culvert here. And this is one that we're going to stop and drop down. It's a pretty good ways down. We're up on a very high embankment. Uh, you can see what I've done here. This is me being silly. I was going to say something else. I'm going to say a smart ass, but it's a little more of a family friendly video. Uh, so here's the uh, mile post marker. So 101.10. And you'll notice a nice little piece of coal that I stuck on the top there. I found it as I was coming up the side of the embankment. Uh, you can see again, just all of the ties scattered all over the place. There are just a million ties uh, dumped by the side of the grade here. All right, so we'll, uh, we'll hop down and go take a look at this, uh, this culvert. So we made our way down here on the south side of the grade. Uh, you can see there's a fairly sizable creek here. Uh, obviously there's spring runoff. Um, draining uh, into, I believe that's McCurdy Lake. Um, you could see that this is a concrete culvert. It's probably about a four foot diameter one. Kind of hard to see, I'm kind of off on the kilter here a little bit. Uh, you could see for the most part, I can't really get any closer just because of the kind of the geography here. Uh, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. There is a little bit of undermining that's happening underneath. Again, just by the sheer volume of water, that's that's coming down the uh, coming down the pipe here. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll jump the grade and go take a look at things on the north side. Okay, so we're down here now on the north side of the grade, uh, which is uh, I don't know about 15 feet up. Um, very interesting situation. As I was working my way down, I was kind of wondering what the heck was going on. So you can see the creek kind of comes in and makes a series of sharp bends. Uh, here you can see the intake side of the culvert. I'm just trying to keep the dog out of there. Uh, you can see it's all covered with uh, brush and debris, and you can't even really even see the intake. It's kind of pouring down the brush and into the culvert. Um, obviously, um, this would have been, if the railway was running, this would have been something that they would have needed to clean up and address. Okay, so we're going to hop back up on the grade and uh, we're getting near to our destination at McCurdy.